Okay. Well, here we are in Tingambato, in Michoacan, and our third sacred site that we've been to. And um, you'll see in, in the rest of the video, it's, it's a small site, but uh, again, impressive, as you can see the, the Teucali behind us. Um, this is, uh, again, uh, uh, an area that has a tomb. Obviously, if somebody was buried here, you know, th there's something special about it in that when you go to a cemetery, you know, th there's something special about why you bury people in a certain place. But at the same time, there's what looks to be a, a ball court here, uh, raised platforms, lowered platforms, the Teucali that you see behind us. And again, uh, in an area that, that feels sacred, feels that you're connecting with the Creator. And part of it is, again, with the Teucali, is to ascend and, and if you look up to the sky right now, it's kind of like almost where you can touch the Creator a little bit better. It, obviously not with your, your hands, but maybe with your mind, open up your mind so you can connect with the Creator. And of course, it's not just you, because a whole bunch of people collectively built this location for a purpose for sacredness and uh, around here are also buildings where, where rituals would take place during the evening or if there was a uh, rain this is again a very green area lots of rain happens here and it, being here you know it's just like uh, again placing ourselves as our ancestors would come to a place like this with respect with a, a sense of having the honor of being here having a, a sense of, of the sacredness of all of this, of somehow this is a place where we communicate with our Creator. It, we should be able to communicate anywhere, but here we've made special effort to connect with our Creator. And this is where the rituals and ceremonies would take place, anything from naming the children, to the, the puberty rides, to the warrior rides, to the death rides, to the warrior society, we'll bring the, the young warriors in here, to motivate them and to discipline them. This is a part of our culture and you see this all the way down into what's called Central America and you see this all the way up into uh, what's called Canada. In different forms, other areas you'll see that we're using wood, in other areas we're using stone uh, and the, the architecture is a little bit different. Obviously the languages are very different. Some places our people are tall, sometimes they're sh short. Your short nose, long nose, uh, it's a big variety to, to match the geography, to match the, the sacredness of, of, of the whole universe is sacred, but you, you can focus in on special areas that, that are even more sacred because of their location. We're planting seeds through the internet, since that's kind of the, the new communication tool for the world. That's where this is being uh, disseminated. So this is uh, the classroom. This is the, the inspiration for you. This is uh, the guidance for you. This is uh, something that we hope will get you to see things that you were not able to see if before. If it means you just concentrate on your family, that's a good, good start. But from there, Try to work on some people in the neighborhood. Share the materials with them. Share the, 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 the ideas you know, that you've picked up. Maybe they don't want to read the, the website. Maybe they don't want to read the books. Show them some videos. Okay? Invite them over to your house uh, uh, for a party. You know, a, 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 a party of knowledge to discuss identity, why we're not Hispanic or Latino, to discuss the basic you know, heritage of our people, going back to the Olmecs and talking about the Mayas and talking about the Mexica and talking about Teotihuacan and then talking about the genocide that killed 95% of our people and how we're 5% that Do have something. survived. St take some actions, intelligent actions, like being part of the work that we're doing here with Mexica Movement. 
Meaning, okay, at least go to the website, read the material there. If you have a little bit more courage, come and join the, the, the work that we're doing. It's a lot of work. And if, you, if you're nowhere able to uh, be able to do the work with us, pass out the information to your friends, your family. Share that knowledge. Tell them you're not Hispanic, you're not Latino. And knock off this raza mestizo uh, nonsense also. And well, what do we call ourselves? We can say Nicantlaca. I'm Nicantlaca, meaning I'm indigenous to this land. We need more oh, people no. to get involved in what we're doing and what Mexica Movement is presenting, the vision that Mexica Movement is presenting. We need your help in helping us reclaim our indigenous identity.